Uh, sorry, you weren't supposed to hear that. Well, what time is it? Don't ask. I wanted to get up early and do a little running before it got too hot. <laughs> you think I'm crazy, don't you? No, I think you're wonderful. I can't believe we're waking up this morning as husband and wife. on television, something about a car accident. It was hurt pretty badly. They had to bring her to surgery. God. What did the doctor say? Do you know anything? We know she lost the baby. She was pregnant? Our guess is that she uh, miscarried. She tried to get to the hospital and she uh, passed out behind the wheel. Oh, no. Kirk, I know there's nothing I can say. Mason, I really don't want to think about it right now. All I want is that Eden will be all right. I may have lost a child, but by God, I'm not going to lose my wife, too. Yes, I'm trying to reach Cruz Castillo. Can you please give me a number where he would be? to Cruz Castillo. Santana? Yes. Who's this? This is Sophia. Um, I'm trying to find Cruz and I was given this number. Oh. Uh, and you were surprised to find me here instead. Well, don't. Don't be. Cruz and I were married last night. What? You were... You were what? I'm really not supposed to be telling anyone, but I, I just couldn't help it. Cruz and I decided that we're going to keep it quiet for a while for Brandon's sake, so please don't, don't spread it around. No. No, I, I wouldn't. My husband is out jogging right now. Would you like to leave a message? Sophia? Yes, uh, Santa. I'm sorry. It's just that you took me by surprise. I, I, I certainly didn't expect this. Um, there has been an emergency, and I wanted to speak to Cruz. Perhaps you could ask him to call me. What emergency? This is a special time for you, and I don't want to spoil it. What happened? Will you please tell me? Uh, all right. Um, Santana, it's Eden. She's been in an accident. She lost control of the car and they brought it to the hospital. That's where I'm calling from right now. Uh, she's gotten through surgery. She's not regained consciousness yet, but we think that she's going to be all right now. It's up to you whether or not you want to tell Cruz. I just thought he would want to know. I'm, I'm sorry, Sophia. Thank you for calling. Sorry about the timing. I had no idea. Oh, of, of course not. You do 
uh, you do what you think is right, Santana. Yes. Hey. Good morning again. How was your run? Oh, it was fantastic. It's beautiful outside. The air is so fresh you can taste it. Let me just stretch out here for a second. You know, I think we should treat ourselves to a nice long walk before we head back. What do you say? Sure. So, uh, what have you been up to while I was gone? Uh, nothing very much. I, I just had a little bit of breakfast, that's all. Look, I know you're anxious to get back to Brandon. We can let the walk go and want to just head back. No, no, that's fine. I'm not in a terrible rush. that might perk you up. You seem a little sleepy. <laughs> well, someone left the alarm on at 5 a.m., as I recall. No, I'm, I'm not sleepy at all, really. Why are you so quiet? The phone rang while you were running. It was Sophia. What is Sophia calling here for? Eden was in an accident. She's in the hospital. What kind of accident? Car accident. Sophia thought you you should know. Is it serious? I, I don't know. All I know is that I think that she's going to be fine, and I believe that they're waiting to hear for sure. Oh, what a drag. I mean, for the people having to wait there, it's hard to wait for that kind of news. If you, if you want to go wait at the hospital, that's fine with me. I don't think I have to do that. I didn't say you did. Well, what are you saying? You want me to just drop everything here and rush back there without even knowing what's going on? I don't care what you do. But whatever you want to do, I just hope you do it, because I don't want you to pretend for my sake. Look, I... I'm sorry. I feel bad knowing she's in the hospital, but if there's nothing I can do, I don't see... Fine, fine. If that's the way you honestly feel, then that's fine. I think I'll just call up there and see if I can talk to a doctor, see what's going on. Bueno, quiero hacer una llamada a la distancia, Ruita. Dr. Levin, report to maternity. Dr. Levin, report to maternity, please. Mark is looking at Eden's chart right now. It's uh, good to at least have him on the case. Keep us informed occasionally. Yeah. Mr. Cranston, there's a telephone call for you at the nurse's station. For me? Yes. Uh, who is it? Did they say? Uh, Mr. Castillo, I think he said. Cruz? Santana and I just heard that Eden's been hurt. How is she doing? She's pretty stable. She had surgery last night. The doctor seemed to think it was successful. Well, is she conscious? Have you, have you spoken to her? No, they won't allow us to see her yet. She had surgery last night and you still haven't been able to talk to her? Look, She's got a whole team of people that are watching her every minute. If something were wrong, I'm sure they would have told us. How did this accident happen, Kirk? We're not, we're not sure yet. She just apparently she lost control of the, the car. Thank God she had a seatbelt on. Yeah, thank God for that. Is it being investigated? Yeah, police are looking into it. Listen, I, I really don't want to type the hospital line, Cruz. Yeah, I understand that, but I'd like to know what's going on. I want to see if there's something I can do. No, not a thing, but thanks. I'm sure Eden will be fine. Very soon. Well, I hope so. I'll be in touch. Is she going to be all right? That's what Kirk said. You don't believe him? Well, he sounded weird. Of course, he always sounds weird to me. I don't know. Tell me something. Yeah, what? You didn't mention the baby. Why not? I'm not supposed to know about it, for one thing. I wonder if it's going to be all right. Well, I don't know. She just had surgery. I think that's pretty dangerous at this stage of a pregnancy. I didn't think about that. Look, Santana, I want to go back to the hospital. Cruz, you're not a doctor. You said yourself that there was nothing you could do. Yeah, but I want to find out what happened. She was in a car accident. The car went out of control. Isn't that what they said? There has to be a reason for that, and I want to know what it is. Excuse me.
Good morning. Oh. All right, oh. listen, we've discussed Eden, and uh, we found out there's really nothing to be duly worried about right now. What does that mean? Well, I've just examined your daughter, Mr. Capwell. She's stabilizing nicely. She's in some pain, but we're medicating now. Uh, doctor, can we see her? I don't think she should see her for a while. Okay? As long as she sleeps, I think we should let her. Well, when do you think we'll be able to talk to her? Well, uh, I don't think much before noon. Now, have you told us that of everything? Well, she's really all right. Well, there's nothing broken. There's no vital organs affected. And the surgery went fine. So I think Eden's greatest problem right now will be to, uh, you know, face the fact that, uh, the loss of her baby. And she had more children. Well, I can't predict that right now, but I'm optimistic. Listen, I think the thing we should concentrate on is the fact that the worst is over. The post-operative period is always tricky, but Eden seems to be coming through just fine. Oh, well, I'm grateful. I, I would like to make one request, Dr. Miller. What's that? I, I realize he told us that you can't talk right now, but still, could I just go in and, and sit with her? I promise I wouldn't disturb her. I just, I want to be in the same room. All right. I think that's possible. Come with me. So you uh, think she's in good hands? Definitely, definitely. I discussed the surgery at length with Dr. Miller, and as he said, no internal organs have been damaged, the bleeding's been arrested, and there are no broken blood. Well, it's excellent news. Stay on top of things, will you please? And I'm, I'm really glad to have you here. It's very comforting. It really is. Yes, thank you very much, Mark. Oh, really? It's my pleasure, really. It's no problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment with my own Please, doctor. I'm sorry to hold you up this long. Well, if you can't see, I'm going to go get some breakfast. Either of you care to join me? No, thank you. Dr. Hart, Dr. Hart, this is you. Why didn't you go with him? When's the last time you had something to eat? Don't mother me, Sophia. I don't intend to, Cece. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Yeah, it has been. The sun came up. <laughs> Our girl's all right. <laughs> Our girl's going to be just fine. seems so, so funny at a time like this. What? You're the only one that knows how I feel right now. We share something that's ours at home. We did create three beautiful children, didn't we? <laughs> yes, we did. And we're going to have some grandchildren. Get hard about the baby, but uh, I think he'll be strong in front of uh, Eden. Get a tremendous amount of resources. He'll uh, really keep it together. Well, he certainly seems to have the, her best interest in heart, doesn't he? Aren't you glad you didn't call Cruz now? You see how uh, Kirk and Eden have to be together to comfort each other without any distractions? You looking forward to seeing Brandon again? Drop me off first and then go to the hospital. You're welcome to come to the hospital with me. Are you sure I wouldn't be in the way? No, of course not. So how does Sophia sound when you talk to her? Was she very upset? She seemed relatively calm. She was probably very tired because I got the feeling that she stayed at the hospital all night. Cruz. Yeah? I told her we were married. I said it before she said anything about Eden. She asked to speak to you, and I just blurted it out. I hope you're not unhappy with me. No, that's all right. People are going to have to find out sooner or later anyway. But we said that we're going to keep it quiet for Brandon's sake for a while. Yeah. I did mention that to her. I asked her not to spread it around. Oh, that's cool. Just in case you're worried that she might tell Eden. No, I wasn't. I was going to find her just like everybody else. Besides, right now she's got more important things on her mind than whether you and I got married. That's it. I, I really don't know what else that I could tell you. Not, not until I talked to Eden. I, I was passing by. I recognized her car. And, uh, well, I pulled over. I couldn't believe it was her. Then I saw them loading her up into the ambulance, and... I... I'm sorry, officer, but... Maybe the doctors told you that my wife, she 
she was pregnant and she lost the child in the accident. It's still so fresh in my mind. Yeah. I understand. I'm very sorry. Dr. Hunt reports to 3 East. Dr. Inspector Castile? I know he was assigned to this case. He's not. Hi. How is he doing? It's good news. She's fine. She's not awake yet, but she's fine. Thank God. You could have found all that out in a phone call. You had no uh, reason to come all the way over here. Everything seems to be under control, Cruz. Well, I guess I just had to see that for myself, Mr. C. Well, Kirk. Cruz. Danny. Inspector. Uh, Mr. Cranston arrived just after his wife's accident. I was uh, just questioning. Did you want to take over? No, no, you go right ahead. But I would like to listen in if you don't mind. I'm very interested in what happened here. Do you have any idea where your wife might have been going, sir? No, I don't. I, I saw her earlier at home, but she didn't mention any plans for later that day. Well, you might not be aware, Mr. Cranston, but your wife's knees were very badly scraped, and uh, they found particles of wood in them. Apparently, she took some kind of a fall just before she got into the car. I didn't know anything about that. It's also the matter of blood that wasn't hers, which was found on her collar. Yes, I, really, I can't explain that either. I assume that when she fell, that's... I didn't tell you on the phone. Even miscarried. I'm sorry. So, we have reason to believe that she met with some other kind of accident before the car accident, is that it? Looks that way. Oh, well, I'm going to find out what that was. I'm going to do everything humanly possible to find out. I appreciate you doing whatever you can. I'll cooperate in any way that I can. That's good, Kirk. I think we got to get started right away. And since we can't talk to her, maybe we should uh, try to reconstruct her day, retrace her steps, so to speak. Why don't you join me then at the station house for no, a Cruz, while? I, I think I'm going to stay here, all right? When Eden wakes up, I want to be the very first face that she sees. Excuse me, officer. Dr. All right, so if she was hurt before she went into the car, that would explain why she lost control. The, the, the blood on the collar, has it been to the lab? I hear the findings. Thanks. Dr. Hart, Dr. Hart. Are you a blushing bride yet? Uh, yes, but we're not telling anyone yet. We want to ease Brandon into the situation. We're taking our time. Dad doesn't know. No, not yet. And Mason, I want to be the one who tells them. I can take a hint. Have you seen Eden yet? No, no, she's still unconscious. And I imagine her first few waking moments won't be any too pleasant. You knew about the baby she was carrying. Did she? She lost it. I uh, imagine she'll be devastated. Santana, don't think the worst. What? I know you. You're afraid that Cruz only married you because Eden was pregnant. Now that she isn't, you're afraid that'll change. Mason, excuse me. Cruz? Yeah? Can you take me home now? What, right now, this minute? Yes. Now that we know that Eden's all right, I don't see any point for us to stay. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask Eden some questions about the accident. I need to ask you some questions, too. Eden lost the baby? Yeah, Kurt just told me. I hate to think what it's going to do to him. Well, this may sound terrible, but I hate to think what it could do to us. What does that mean? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The one reason, the only reason that you were able to give up on Eden was because she was carrying another man's child. Now that she's not carrying that child anymore... Santana, nothing has changed. You say that now! Yeah, what happened to Eden has nothing to do with us. We're married. And I intend to stay married. I shouldn't have had to say that. I shouldn't have had to ask. It's all right. I just love you so much. Look, why don't I just take a cab home? I'll wait for you there. It's a good idea. I may be alone. Okay. Thanks. Talk to 
Amy Garrett says she can sleep for another hour, maybe more. I'm going to duck out for a little fresh air. I, uh, sounds like a good idea. Can I come with you? Fine. Thank you.